And what's happening YouTube, your boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're going to show you how to spoof on Pokemon Go. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can notify my next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. The program we are using today is by iTool Lab. It's called AnyGo. Basically, you can easily simulate the GPS location on your iPhone and iPad while you're playing Pokemon Go. You can use this on different apps as well, location-based apps. Basically, we're going to show you today how to install this and we're going to show you the features as well. Everything will be linked down in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. There's also a discount code there if you want to get one yourself. You can try this out. There's a trial version of this. Uh, it's very limited too, but uh, at least you can test it out before you buy it. So once you are ready, go ahead and plug in your phone to the computer so that it'll recognize your location. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up Pokemon Go. There you go. Right now it's snowing here, so uh, our Pokemon Go is showing that it's snowing in our area. Now we're going to go ahead and search up a few places here and I'm going to try to teleport. As you can see here, all you need to do is type in the location that you want, any address. I just like playing in different places like New York, San Francisco, uh, London. And then once you've done that, just hit go. Yeah, it's nice to check out different places. There's also regional Pokemons, right? So it's better to just uh, check out different places so that you can grab those regional Pokemons. The next feature that we're looking at is the joystick. One of the best features that AnyGo has is the joystick. Basically, you'll be able to just uh, click play and your character will be able to walk wherever it wants. You can pick which direction it um, walks to. This is the best part about this. You can change the speed of it as well. So as you can see, our character is uh, speeding up as we change the speed on the meter here. You can have it uh, one millisecond or maybe a car speed. You can use this for hatching eggs. Another idea is to leave it overnight and then your buddy there can accumulate steps so that you can get candies from them. Now let's go to our favorite spot in San Francisco and show you more features of AnyGo. Now that we are in San Francisco, we can go ahead and hit minus there on the map so we could see more of the map. As you can see, we are in San Francisco and basically the local teleporting, pick anywhere is in the map and hit go and you'll be able to teleport there. Now just be aware with the shadow ban, uh, just respect the cooldowns, right? Don't uh, teleport every second. Do the teleporting within the two hour mark and you'll be good to go. If you want a more in-depth solution on how to not get banned, I'll link it down in the description below again once you figured out the spot where you want to play you can go ahead and hit play on the joystick with that you'll be able to freely play on pokemon go because your character will automatically walk and then here we're just spinning a bunch of pokestops we can look at our eggs that we're trying to hatch uh, we're accumulating steps there as well our buddy is also grabbing some candies and then we can also catch pokemons while we're at it you can also change the speed on this one i recommend and putting it in one millisecond so that you have more time. When you are catching and uh, spinning Pokestops, uh, I find that the slowest uh, option there is the best. So I don't have to rush when I'm catching and spinning Pokestops. You can also pause your character while you are catching. So you just pause it on the computer and then it will stop walking while you are catching like this. It takes a long time sometimes because there's a lot of animations. But once you're ready, you can hit play again so it'll start walking again. <laughs> For those of you who doesn't really want to teleport or anything like that, you can go ahead and just do local gameplay. You can select the second option there and then you can pick anywhere in the map, wherever you want to go. The best part about local gameplay is uh, this will lower your uh, risk on getting shadow banned or getting banned at all. So that's pretty good. This will mimic actual gameplay as if you are in that area. And as you can see here, it even shows the root of where their character will be. And it actually uses the actual roads 
um, it doesn't just randomly throw you in a straight line. So I really like this feature that they have. There, as you could see, you could change the uh, speed as well, and you can freely use this. As you could see our character is actually walking on the road, so it doesn't look like it's just walking on a straight line, right? So that's pretty crazy how they could do that. For those of you who are, you know, sketched out and uh, don't want to like teleport or you just want to play on on the local area on your area there you can use this to actually show the Niantic I guess or whoever the moderator might be that you are actually using the actual roads this will prove that you are actually walking in real life even though you're not right now we just showed you the two spot route the next feature that the Enigo has is the multi-spot route so we're gonna go ahead and X this out and show you the multi-spot route this multi-spot route is pretty much the exact same thing except you get to pick wherever you specifically one. You can select different spots in the map that you think where the gyms are or maybe the focus stops are. You can do that as well and uh, your character will specifically walk there. And at the same time, you could change the speed on this feature as well. As you could see there, once you've selected all the locations, you can hit go and then it'll automatically walk to wherever you want. In this case, you'll be able to use your Pokemon Go app now and freely just spin Pokestops, uh, catch Pokemons like I said earlier. You can literally pick uh, multiple spots in the map and you'll be able to just leave it there and then you just focus on playing pokemon go now there are times that you love this spot and you want to save that area and you don't want to write it down all you need to do is just hit gfx and hit save the other feature that you can use as well is the historical records here you'll see all the past locations that you've been to and then you can just hit go and your character will go there as well and once you are done this is the most important part make sure to reset your location if you don't do this you'll be stuck on that location especially i play a lot in the united states i am in canada right now so this will affect my netflix and other location based apps so make sure to hit that button up there in the top right and reset the location the other way to reset your location as well is for restarting your device so once you you hit X on the any go you can hit restart device up there once you've done that your location should be restarted back to normal now if you want to download this I'll link this down below there's also a 50% discount there as well so go ahead and check that out this is the plans that they have it's not that bad actually like $60 for example if you use your coupon code you'll get 50% off then you'll be able to use five different devices to spoof on Pokemon go and that's it for today guys thanks for watching I hope I was able to help you on how to spoof on pokemon go if i was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit the notification bell as well so you can notify the next videos to come make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace